Welcome to this new add-on spotlight. In this add-on spotlight, we're gonna look at the latest version of this nice helicopter. It's the Airbus H125, which we initially already previewed prior to Christmas because <laughs> that was when the first uh, release was, I say, released to the larger public. But in the meantime, we the helicopter got two updates: update number 1.1, which fixed a lot of. Um, things like the rotor uh, length adjustment uh, there were some I would say changes to the windshield uh, they removed the MG, MRGB transmission pipe work from uh, baggage areas they added some other uh, airline FS profiles and for those who don't know what that those are used for for helicopters like this these you need to use the airline FS tool to control the helicopter you can look at my previous video uh, you will see the link on the top of the uh, of this video how to install it and how to use it because that's what's really required to control this uh, helicopter and not only this one but also several other community releases of helicopters and then it's some tweaks for the uh, texture and for the models and the uh, camera which was I would say in the earth first version the camera which was uh, here was by default on it's now by default off so you need to switch it on if you want there's also a small change to the uh, co-pilot co side small baggage door, uh, which will now open uh, using the uh, load button. We will have a look at that. In this latest edition, which is version 1.2, there is now opening baggage doors is now being triggered uh, by using the WLT button on the uh, initiation panel. Uh, the rain effects have been updated. Well, if you, as you can see, it's so. not raining, so that's something we can't show. Uh, the external view has been optimized. Uh, the various textures and models updates uh, received an update. The baggage door on the co-pilot side can now open with the load button. Well, that was already a part of the previous update. Uh, the engine start uh, warning light on the initiation panel uh, must be on for the flight. And the manual trim has been enabled, so you can now manually trim uh, your uh, joystick if needed. And the sounds were updated uh, for this helicopter. So when looking at the exterior, right, to start with, you can see that it was already looking very nice. And so they made some changes now to make it even look nicer. Um, I'm not going to do the full review here. Um, so the propellers are, I would say, shortened a bit. On the back also, and you can see all kind of lights, which were, I think, not uh, part of the first release, but they're now part of this uh, second beta release, because it still is in beta, right? So keep that in mind. Uh, this is probably the baggage door they're referring to, so let's go inside the uh, helicopter and let's uh, try some things out. Uh, so on the top, there's two buttons. Uh, still, they uh, need to work on some of them, and you can see that also not always the help information is being displayed. Here we've got uh, one of the buttons, which is the uh, critical button. Uh, then we've got the doors here and on the initiation panel, which is whoop, not reset it continuously. Uh, that can be uh, found here. You can open the doors, for example, or in this case, remove the doors completely. You can use the uh, load button and the load button. Uh, that's what we just discussed, right? Which opens the baggage door here. So you can also look at, hey, what's what's in the helicopter? And you can close it by uh, using the load button again. And then the WRT button is here. Um, the camera, if you want to use it, you can switch it on now. Um, by default, it's switched off right here's the camera. And of course, you can close the doors again. Then we'll close the doors. Uh, so let's see uh, if we can, uh, let's say, reset or not reset start this aircraft and start flying with it so there's a the nice red button here this one is set to automatic do think that will be changed in the future okay and here the engines uh, starting the battery was already switched on the alternator can be switched on the strobe lights WRT, that's this one, 
it will change this so the wrt test what it's been used for simply okay hey let's make sure that all the uh, buttons which are shown here and all the screens are working perfectly and you can switch it on easily the fire test you can also perform a fire test which will show if the lights which need to burn in case of a fire are let's say illuminated the accu test and the crank are not working yet and same thing is applicable for the buttons on the top and for this emergency switch uh, PZOT is burning, if that happens then switch it on, you can do it here and then the TWT grip, uh, I didn't find what it's being used for to be honest, uh, not yet uh, so I will leave it as is uh, as you can see the radios are working right, here's the radio piece for the navigation and the communication and here we've got the identifier which allows us to, or which allows ATC to identify our helicopter and then of course here we've got the uh, let's say main screen for the uh, navigation purposes right and that's a uh, part of the uh, GTN 750 which has a lot of functionality you can install the free version works perfectly if you want to spend some money on it you can also do it but then you'll get some great features uh, such as uh, I would say I think was one thing was the roads or something which you can see so let's uh, increase throttling In this case and we're airborne already as you can see we can switch camera positions uh, although some of them might not work as you expect them to work there's still the uh, button burning right that's the WLT one or the TWT grip I'm not sure where it's been used for so if you know what it's being used for then let me know because I'm really curious how to switch it off it's not this one also not <laughs> that's another option simply try all the buttons and we're flying already with this helicopter again so it's a beautiful helicopter right we're flying close to the French coast so let's have a look at uh, some of the bridges The buttons on the joystick itself, right? These buttons, uh, these are also working, uh, but it's not clear to me what they are used for. I tried looking it up, but I couldn't find it yet. Uh, so there's still some work for me to do also. Uh, same thing is for this one. Uh, these are the buttons for the trim, as you can see, but they're, I'd say, disabled, but you can uh, still use the trim on your joystick if you've got a joystick uh, which has that option. Simulation stopped, right? We overstress the aircraft. Or well, something to keep in mind. Don't overstress the aircraft because you can still do it and then you need to start from scratch like I'm currently doing. Uh, so let's uh, try it again. Uh, also, you saw this happening. That's, I would say, kind of between rackets normal. <laughs> so Ctrl E to start the engines if you want. So if Ctrl E doesn't work, you need to do this stuff manually. So let's do that. And let's look at the other camera positions, right? You can see we can go to the aircraft or to the helicopter in this case. Uh, but the view is something which needs to be uh, fixed. see something weird happening <laughs> oh, it reset itself okay in that case let's give it a try here we go again the nice thing about the version 1.1 uh, which was released earlier uh, is that it also contains two other profiles right from two other pilots uh, which used uh, this uh, helicopter so you always have the option to select a different uh, profile um, to fly the aircraft 
in airline device. You can also make modifications to your own profile if you prefer to make, for example, the aircraft less sensitive. Or that's always something which you can do with airline device, which is currently in 1.4 beta version. And again, second try, right? So let's uh, look from this side. So these are the external views. And the external views have, add, have as advanced that you can still see the uh, speed, uh, the vertical speed, vertical climbing speed, but also the altitude, the view, the engine. Uh, but the nice thing is that you can use the A from Alpha to switch to different views, right? So for example, you can go to the uh, bottom of the helicopter or to the side of the helicopter. And you can enter that mode by pressing the uh, and key. And if in some cases you're in 